Alright, let's get started. I'm excited to start Act 2. So, load the game. Ended up figuring something off screen after the stream ended yesterday. Oh, and the loading screen is actually on what it was about. So, um, I ended up leveling my character as well off screen. And all I did is, I think I got this ability, Pug Pugilist, I believe. But, um, let's go to inventory. So I figured out that you can, like, open your skill selection here, and these are all the unarmed abilities you have. I think they're different depending on the classes, because I know with him, his unarmed abilities with his class are different. So he has, like, um. Where was it? Soothe Pain. Which will let him heal without having to need the bandages, which is nice. Which seems really good. I wonder what his, uh... I have to actually swap weapons. There we go. I'm curious to what his are. His bracer lock. And his defensive jab. Intimidate. And tackle. Okay. Let's have him switch back to that. What about with the, um... Yes. It's unique to Kalida. Interesting. And throw something. Okay. What was the... Well, there's the Gladiator. I'm sure the Gladiator probably has something unique as well. But the other thing I noticed was, um... If we go to me... Our fists upgraded at some point. And I don't know how that happens. Because now we have, like, fist two. I'm assuming it has something to do with just what level your character is. Maybe, or uh, get into a certain act of the game, perhaps, as well. Um, anyways, let's get started. We're exa well, let's talk to our um, friends. Uh, only Bastia's over here. What is it, Gagate? Um, so what did you think about the campaign? You are a capable commander. Mercy is your weakness. Your enemies exist as long as they survive. Uh, yeah, I did make some mistakes showing mercy. Playing with your prey is good showmanship. But the longer your foe survives, the more chances he has to turn the tables. So what are you going to do now? There was, but not in Rome. I had a sister once. Although sometimes I question my own sanity. Did she truly exist? Or did I merely dream of her? Aristocles teaches us that one may never truly know. <laughs> we live chained inside a cave, staring at the shadows on a wall. None can chain Bestia Tabat anymore. I will find out where my sister is. Yeah, let's, I mean, Bestia is kind of like, kind of like the same mentality as Claudia Rinaldia. Very murder hobo. Um, yeah. Maybe you could start a family with someone else. Family is a bond of blood. It can never be replaced. We shall help you find your sister, Bestia. Failing that, we shall prove her existence or the lack thereof. Okay, seem discontent. It is an action that bothers me. Idleness corrodes the warrior's mind. Uh, you want to visit the arena? 
That is an excellent idea. No wonder you are the Legatus. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's talk to our old man. Welcome home, Domina. So, what do you think of the campaign? It appears we have everything we need against Witellius Skywala. But keep in mind, appearances can be deceiving. I'll try to keep that in mind. I know you will. So, what's the first thing you want to do? Do you see your mother? I'm sure she's anxious to know we've arrived. Uh, that's a good idea. We should probably do it discreetly. I shall be cautious like a lizard. None shall be aware of my presence. Are you happy to be back? More than happy. Although it was nice to be back in my homeland once again, I find it quite impossible to not miss Rome. All I need now is a change of clothes and a day trip to the library. Well, you're no longer Greek. You're now Roman. You're not one of those disgusting Greeks anymore. Yeah, I'll just make sure you get whatever you need. Much appreciated. It was good to be back in action, but now my old bones are in dire need of some rest. See you later, old man. Okay, and there's Picasso. Legate? We did uh, all right in the east, huh? Couldn't be better. We have conquered Asia, and you have all the evidence you need to put that traitorous Vitellius Skywaller behind bars. So, uh, what are you going to do now? You know what? For once, I'll do nothing. Nothing at all. And it will be glorious. Hmm. Yeah, you've earned the right to rest, but I gotta keep on killing stuff or I'm gonna lose my edge. You are in too much of a hurry. Don't let life pass you by. We've both earned the right to have some fun. You feeling okay? I always get this weird feeling when I'm back. Like I've left something of mine behind out there. Mm. Did you forget to pack something? I have everything I need right here. Yet it feels like I could have accomplished more. Oh well, I guess wine will clear my head. Yeah. Why? I'm a, when I tried uh, red wine, it's not too bad. Um, I think, like, light beer definitely tastes like pee water. Or I'd imagine what pee water to taste with. Like, I hate light beer. I always preferred the darker beers. Um, where's the rest of my party member, though? Party members. Oh, they're over here. I almost missed them. I want to talk to everybody before I, um, start. I have wanted to come to Rome for so long. I am almost nervous now. Yeah, it's the best thing in the world. You'll love it. That is what everyone says. Now I get to see it for myself. I'll let you know if I agree. You are happy to be home. Yeah, we'll say this. Um. Yeah, back in the heart of the world of the center of Mediterranean comments and the political capital of the world. Of course I am. Plus they have uh, great pizza joints. Good. You will show me around, I hope. Take me to fancy parties and we will eat expensive food together. I have no place to stay, of course. I can stay in your home, maybe. Just for now. Hmm. Yeah, you can stay as long as you wish. That is generous. Thank you. I will try to find a place for myself, but it is good to know there is no rush. Yeah, Rome loves gladiators. You could probably make a good living there. Why would I want to keep fighting when I don't have to? Fighting is a necessity of life. It is not sport. I did not come to Rome to keep fighting. Um... You might be able to draw a lot of attention in Rome. Move on up in the world like the Jeffersons. You think it will be bad? Maybe you can help me buy nice Roman stola. Then I will fit in. Right?
Yeah, I'm sure we can make you fit in. We will go shopping. It will be fun. Indeed. Are you planning to stay in Rome long term? We will see. Maybe I will hate it. Then I will have to go and find some place else to be. But I think I will want to stay. If I can find place to live. I like her. She's super cute. She's got really um cute ears and like I like her eyes the way her eyes are shaped. Hey. Plus it's a bonus that they're blue. Uh, so how did you like Asia? Good weather. Nice food. What's not to like? And you've got what you wanted too. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I wouldn't count on anything. Those Vitalius bastards are slippery. Expect the unexpected. You glad we're back? Not really. I like it better out there. You shy. Did you come up with this incisive analysis all by yourself? Maybe. So why are you being a why are you being a big meanie? Maybe I don't want to be helped. My life's in this shitty place because of all the people who were trying to help me. You look a bit weird. Oh, thanks. Just what every girl hopes to hear. <sighs> I don't want to return. I don't even know where to go. This is the first time I'm back home. You don't have a house? No offense, but neither do you. I'm working on that. Yeah, maybe I can help you get your home back. Doubtful. But I'll keep it in mind. Okay. This is me and her bullying each other. Alright. Oh, way Lucullus and his victorious legion. Welcome home. Salve, Wheatus. It is good to be home again. I'm looking forward to a nice bath and a flask of good Carthaginian wine. Maybe two. May I humbly recommend Weepsanius Marcellus' new batch? People say it's heavenly. Ah, your recommendations never fail to impress. Do address the Legatus, though. This victory was of her doing more than mine. She is your Legatus? That is highly unusual, to say the least. Indeed it is, but we shall discuss the implications in due time. For now. Keep it to yourself as a favor to me, and let us proceed as usual. My apologies, Legate. I neither know nor recognize you. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, apology accepted. I am Claudia Rinaldia. See to it that you recognize me from now on. Thank you. I am sure you'll be remembered from now on. Now, let us conclude our business. The Consul seems to attribute the success of this campaign to you, Legate. Thus, it is your duty to formally disband the Legion and relinquish your weapons. Beyond this river lies the Pomerium, and not even a victorious Imperator can cross it bearing arms. Yeah, I'll do nothing of the sort. You have earned the right to carry these weapons on your campaign, Legate. But the moment you cross the Rubicon into Rome, you are a Legatus no longer. No one can carry weapons inside the Pomerium. I personally don't need weapons. My hands are my weapons, so very well, if you say so. You have given up your command, but you have retained your virtue. You can always get your command back when Rome needs you again. I feel a bit naked, though. It is part of being a commander. You are a soldier out there, and a citizen in here. The River Rubicon marks the sacred line where you stop being a warrior. It is time you learn how you may conquer a more civilized battleground. We shall meet at my villa in two nights. There are people I want you to meet prior to the Senate hearing. We must get your villa back somehow. Do not worry about your favorite Gladius. Your war gear will be kept safely in my summer villa outside the city. Okay. 
Well, good thing I don't need weapons, because I can kill people with my bare hands quite easily. Joke's on them. I am the weapon. I hope you're hungry, Domina. Lucullus is known for his lavish feasts. Do not eat anything until I've tasted it first. I wouldn't put it past the Witellius brothers to poison this entire party just to get you and Lucullus. Uh, alright. Wish me luck. May Fortuna smile on you, Domina. I'll be here if you need me. Glad we got Grant, our grandpa right to on time. look just out for us. Proper legatus. Welcome, my girl. After this long and arduous campaign, a feast is all you need. Hmm. So, is there anything expected to me, of me? Yes, there is one thing. A proper introduction of you. I'm sorry to spring this on you, my girl, but this is the perfect time. Hmm. Yeah, you've planned this well. Let's hope the news doesn't force that food back up. My friends, may I please have your attention? There is someone I would like to introduce to you. A very important woman, without whose deeds we would not be assembled here tonight. Most of you have heard my reports to the Senate about our war and the pivotal role of my new legatus. You know of the meteoric rise of this young Roman from humble legionarius to loved and respected commander of the Wictrix Legion. Well, here she is. The woman who liberated Asia and set Mithridates packing. Is this a joke? I'm glad to keep the secret no longer, Lucullus. It has been an unwelcome burden. A woman led the Legion. This young girl in her pretty dress. Presumably she was not clad thus at the time, Kikero. Without her, Legia Wictrix would have been killed to a man. And I would have died with them. That is absurd. You expect us to believe all this? You are known as a man of honor, Lucullus, who reveres tradition and the natural order of things. This is why I trust that you will take me on my word. She is no ordinary woman. That is one way of looking upon it. You have given us much to consider, Consul. Perhaps we may ask her a few questions to get a sense of things. Yeah, I will say this. I didn't come here to make excuses for the act of saving the Legion. A proprietor, a council, and winning a war for Rome. I did not take... I did not do so to take... Make a political statement. I did it because it was virtuous. Yeah, let's, uh... Then let us judge you on your virtue. And see for ourselves if we have heard the truth about you. Ah, oh, well, perhaps such a thing is better done under more relaxed circumstances. I will let you get back to your meal and your discussion, Senators. You the think we... Is young, and more food is forthcoming. You think we convinced them? With the propaganda I laid upon them? Cato and Kikero, certainly. Cato was against you from the start, but Aurelia is clearly on your side, and she will mitigate what damage he can do. Do join me at Cato's and Kikero's table when you've recovered your energy. A second impression can be just as important as the first. All right. Um, talk to people. A woman in charge of a legion? I don't know what. <laughs> he certainly gave them something to think about, didn't he? Well, I can't blame them for being rattled. It took me quite some time to get used to the idea of a woman in charge of a legion. Hmm. Do you have any opinions about the Senate hearing? It is pretty much out of my hands. I follow your Patronus's lead. Lucullus is a smart man who usually has a few backup plans. I understand you have all the evidence you need to expose Witellius Skyeva. It's a strong position. Nevertheless, I would advise caution. Witellius Skyeva, and especially his brother Lurko, are ruthless and cunning. Okay. All right, well, let's go to the table. Talk to Cato Cicero. That is absolutely unnecessary. I'd spend it all on farmlands. People need their food. Indeed they do. But what good is food if it's obtained by illegitimate means? 
What do you think about it, Legato? Uh, what are you talking about? Spoils of war, unaccounted for and untaxed. Should they be used for development to feed the people of Rome? A simple question. Depends on the situation. If people are starving, sure. But if we should also punish the person who committed a crime. A fairly strong answer, I'd say. No matter how much you try to legislate, the situation at hand will defy your expectations. Meet Senators Marcus Porcius Carter and Marcus Tullius Cicero, who will be acting as your attorney tomorrow. At least I hope so. Unfortunately, things have developed differently, my friend. I've decided to represent Tiberius Suetelius Skyewala instead. Hmm. That's very interesting. So why are you here then? Enemies? Most certainly not. I am an advocate. I just represent my client in a specific matter. Certainly an interesting turn of events. But I've heard you talking disfavorably about the Witellius brothers before. How do you justify defending them? What I justify hardly matters. I seek to represent them to the best of my ability, so justice can be served. Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, we all get our day in court, essentially. Precisely. The rules exist for a reason. One must understand the reasons to challenge them. Rules should never invalidate the reasons for their existence. Morality is beyond law. Legate, what guidelines did you follow when you had to decide the fate of that Triarchus? Why did you have him executed? It's his responsibility to bring us safely to Lesbos. He failed when many lives were at stake. Death was the price he had to pay. Interesting. And if you fail to judge him correctly, I suppose death shall await you as well. I wonder, exactly how utilitarian are you in your thinking? I heard you had the opportunity to bribe a hired guard protecting a spy. Stop interrogating the woman, Carto. Not everyone must adhere to your high standards. Oh, it's alright, I did have that option. Yet, you did not take it. Yeah, loyalty bought with denarii is worthless. A point well taken. Depends on the denarii, I suppose. Well, gentlemen, this discussion has become too hypothetical for my tastes. I bid you a good day. Wale, Kiko. See you tomorrow. One final question, before I retire as well. You and your questions, Kato. I believe if you wanted, you could enter the Pomerium fully armed. Why didn't you? I don't need weapons to defend myself, that's why. So you follow the rules only because you are strong. This has been an interesting conversation, gentlemen. I thank you for it. But now, with your permission, I shall leave. Wallate. Wale, Kato. Okay. Don't know if those were right questions. But I don't really care what he thinks Is of me. Pompeius Magnus not coming tonight? He's in Hispania, I believe. Oh, come over here, old man. Stop running away from me. Crassus offered to pay for the whole campaign himself. He's desperate for a military victory to get himself elected. Consul. I don't even know where I am on the map. Over here, I am. Gladiators. That's not very glamorous. You look tired. Shall we leave? Um. Yeah. So. Did you enjoy yourself? I have mixed feelings. That is what life is. Okay, so I gotta prevent... Uh... Got to... Was that Lucius? No. This is someone I can talk to, though. See what he has to say. Of course. 
the savior of the legions, Lucullus Wonder Kid. I knew you would be here. Mm, let's be respectful. He is still a, um... I'd imagine he's higher up on the food chain. I can leave if this is a private conversation. Nonsense. It's a party after all. What would be the purpose of these gatherings if we refrain from conversation? I am Aurelia Cotter. Marcus and Lucius are my brothers. It's wonderful to meet you, Legate. We were just talking about you anyway. Of course we were. I hope you're, uh, you only have good things to say. We were discussing how you saved my brother's life and became the hero of the Azia campaign. Yeah, everyone knows the value of a great leader like Marcus Aurelius Cota. It would have been a crime not to save him. Yet my son Gaius was not valuable enough to be saved. Uh, that's not what I said. Gaius was a great man who seemed destined to accomplish great things. Such is the nature of war, though. It will keep on taking valuable lives. Indeed. It almost took Marcus's life, too. Thank you. For saving at least one of the people I deeply care about. Yeah. I hope I haven't done anything to offend you, Marcus. Other than saving his life? Lucius! Oh, please, let him talk, Aurelia. Let everyone witness the failure of Marcus Aurelius Cotta. The man who got himself captured and let his nephew die. The consul who had to be saved by a homeless runt. Yeah, if I could, you know, save the life of the uh, Caesars, it's an uh, honor. Rest assured, my brother is thankful for that, Legate. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I'm a big, I'm a big Julius Caesar fanboy. Uh, that'd be cool. Uh, if I could meet anyone in history that isn't fucking God, it'd, it'd be Julius Caesar. Alright, let's leave. You wanna let me leave? Oh, there we go. Oh, cool. It's a weird, interesting map. Let's go to the Senate. As per today's augury, a specific issue stood out as being of utmost importance. I bring forth the following relatio, the result of which is to be decided per discussionem and as usual before the sun sets. Let's remain silent. The complaint is brought forth by Lucius Licinius Lucullus concerning alleged wrongdoing and infamous conduct by Tiberius Vitellius Caevola and his brother Vibius Vitellius Lurco. Are both parties present? I am present. As am I. Hmm. Weird that Vitellius Lurker would be here to do the talking. Where is Skyola? He is the accused. Are both parties represented? I shall represent the defendant. Uh, okay. Is our advocate a bit late? Late? There's no one coming. You will have to present our case. This hearing will conclude at sunset. I'm afraid we have no time to wait for your imaginary advocate. Do go ahead with the restatement of your accusation. Yeah, we have, we've discovered that the defendant Tiberius uh, Vatius Coviovia has been funding and protecting piracy in the Mediterranean, thereby supporting Rome's enemies. Found out. So you do have evidence. Interesting. Do you accept the accusation, Kikaro? I see no reason to comment at this stage. May I humbly remind the Magistra, he who makes the claim has the burden of proof. 
We shall rest until sufficient proof is presented to eliminate all shadow of a doubt. I was just trying to be helpful. The defendant is always at a disadvantage. I'm sure you mean usually and not always. As you wish. Present your evidence. Yeah. Preposterous. Do you think my client would be foolish enough to commit a crime and put his signature on the evidence? The evidence is material, Kikero. There is no room for interpretation. The crates do carry Skeola's signature. I have investigated them myself. I concur. Is there anyone who would contest my findings? I admit, the evidence looks damning. So, do the defendants admit their guilt? Are the Witelli guilty of all crimes stated or implied? Of course not. For starters, the evidence proves only treason. Only? What else is needed to declare this man infamous? Do not interrupt the speaker. No harm done. My dear friend Kato is correct. The evidence is enough to declare one infamous. That one is Tiberius Witellius Skyewola. Nowhere in any findings can you conjure the ability to implicate my client, Webius Witellius Lurko. Well, you know what? Typically, the, the punishment for treason is death. He should be receiving a, the highest possible punishment. Nail him to a cross. That, of course, depends on the nature of the treason. But that's largely irrelevant. That is literally the topic of our discussion, Kikero. How in the world can you say it's irrelevant? There simply is no case. Witellius Skyewala cannot be punished. Your rhetorical games grow tiresome. You have admitted the evidence is rock solid. This should be interesting. So why do you still think Skyler is innocent? I want to ask you that. Why do you think that, Cicero? I never said he's innocent. As far as I can tell, he's guilty. But he is dead. Therefore, the case is null and void. Senators, people of Rome, of course the evidence is clear. I accept my brother's guilt. It is a stain on our family name. A stain we will quite possibly never be able to cleanse. You know I love my family. I love my brother more than anything else in this world. Almost anything. The only thing I love more than my own brother is Rome itself. And thus, with sorrow in my heart, I was forced to take his life. Oh, I see. Okay, who promotes kinslaying before the Senate, you, you weirdo? It is not a boast. It is my solemn duty to deliver the news. I am a man with the highest of morals. Someone who places the well-being of Rome over his own flesh and blood. Step outside, Senatus. You will witness my brother hanging from the old tree. Let him rot there. Do not take him down. Let it be a warning to all those who would threaten Rome, placing their petty family matters over the well-being of our great republic. Let it be known that Vibius Vitellius Lurko will never tolerate treason, not even from his own blood. A decision cannot be reached. This case is non-existent. Fuck. What just fucking happened? That bastard outmaneuvered us. We underestimated how cold-blooded he truly is. This is not good, sir. He turned impending defeat into a major victory. We will need a new plan. Go home and lay low for now. Your family needs you. Okay, well... Damn it. Thought I had him. Someone has skills, though, in the party. Oh, it's uh, Julia. We'll uh, give her... This powerful kick. Okay. Oh, she looks really pretty in that pink dress. Um, let's 
give her Frighten. Right, so now we gotta return home. I don't know. I personally think uh, Kin Slain. You know, I, I have my view on it is kind of how it works in Game of Thrones. It's like even if like the Kin Slain technically, you know, would help a lot of people, but the fact that you're you're willing to kill your own brother, I mean, even if it did have a good outcome, I mean, you should be. That's just one of the something you don't do. What you what you do is talk someone else into doing it for you. You've been awaiting your return. Uh, you the person at the Gladiator School in Thracia? You have a good memory for faces. The name is Markellus. Uh, you need to expect, expect me? We have been informed by Rutelius Lurko that the ownership of this villa was transferred to you. As per his orders, we kept the area safe until your arrival. Now that you're back, with your permission, we will take our leave. Okay, you may leave. Walete. Dearest daughter, you're back. And with Cineros. Oh, it's so good to see you both safe. It's good to see you, Domina. I've missed you so much. You look great. Did you lose some weight? Are you eating well? Has she been eating well, Cineros? <laughs> she has, Domina. Uh, thank you. I miss you. Do tell your mother how much you missed her. Almost as much as I miss my father. I miss him too. If only he were here to see you like this. Tell me about the war. I heard some of your friends died there. Killed by pirates. How did you survive? I didn't. This is, I'm a ghost from the underworld. Oh, shush. Don't say stupid things like that. Tempt not the gods. Did the Legionari treat you with respect? Did you keep your womanhood secret, as I said you should? Yeah, um, let's be honest with our mom. Yeah, I had to reveal my secret to my closest friends. In fact, I met another woman hiding as a man. Did you really? Well, you simply must invite her around for dinner soon. Such a unique shared experience should forge a friendship for life. I must say, Lucullus was reckless to reveal your sex at his feast like that. It has caused an uproar without equal among the senatorial class. If you permit me to disagree, Domina, uh, Consul Lucullus' move was masterful. In placing the glory for the victory in Greece on the shoulders of your daughter, and revealing the trick in the same breath. He has made it impossible for anyone to publicly condemn her. You underestimate the senators, Cineros. They will find a way to slander her good name in the public eye. If not today, then tomorrow. Do you really think they would have killed me? I do, and the coolest agreed. It was a sinister plan to take over our family. But now you're here, and everything will be fine. So how did, uh... Scully's people treat you? Oh, they were polite, mostly. Except for the fact they wanted me confined to this villa. I guess having me walking around the streets was too much of a risk. Once you were out of the picture, he had no reason to antagonize me, though. What about Lavana? Isn't she supposed to be here? They told me your sister's husband is dead. She should be free by now. I wonder if they did something to her. Well, I'm just happy you're okay. It's good to have you home. And for it to be our home again. Now that you're back, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Oh, listen to me. You just got here. Go on, take some time to settle in. Let me know when you're ready to get to work. All right. So, talk to your mother when you're ready to end act one. Okay. Well, let's go do that. Let's go talk to our mom. It's so good to have you back home safe and sound. Is everything well, dear? Yeah, let's end Act 1. Hold on. Let me see if there's any quests. Uh, 
Okay, I'm glad I checked this. Well, let's do these side quests real quick. And then we'll start Act 1. I personally think we are in Act 2 right now. Like, the moment you go into Rome. Uh, that's, uh, her. So how do I get out of here? Okay, it's over here. Is this something I should know? So... Is it here in the streets? The mean streets of Rome? A few weeks ago. In this, uh, concrete jungle? But yeah, the only reason I didn't want to um, take my weapons across the Rubicon mainly I will attend to your health. was because I believe Caesar did that after Gaul, right? After the Gaul campaign or something. So if we are going to do that, and we probably will, because we'd be a fool if we didn't. Um... Um... We're going to do it then, and that's when we're going to make our move to take over the, the Republic and make it an empire. You came! Okay. Surprise! That much should be clear from the look of my face. But I really didn't expect you to appear here, of all places. I mean, Bestia is too much of a alpha male to, uh say yes to my advances, maybe he will. The Sigma Bestia. Yeah. Let me assure you the feeling is mutual. Now that the war is over, I hope we'll finally have time to get to see another side of each other. Woman, bring us a fresh jug. My lovely companion is still sober, and that's simply not acceptable. Now, what are we drinking to? To the handsome men of Rome. <clears throat> Representing the particular group of people who were just mentioned, I, Graeso Quinctius Aquilinus, graciously accept this dedication in their stead. <sighs> that hit the spot. Another one? I can drink another one. I'll tell you a secret. I can always drink another one. Me too. Another! Keep it pouring! Let's get wasted. <laughs> and then I said, but what can you say in that situation? Obviously, I asked, is that really a goat or a sorry excuse for a tent pole? What else? That's really funny. <laughs> it was, it was. Oh, I still can't help but laugh. You know what people say in Africa? Wine makes the soul come out of you. You're all right, my sweet. You're all right. Yeah, this wine's really good. Barcellus Lipsenius is the best. Some say he's working on the recipes of the legendary Margot himself. Others say he smuggles his wine from Carthage. You're not so bad yourself. I'm glad you came. Friendships that develop in war don't always stand the test of peacetime. You've been to many lands? More than I could count. I've walked on so many different kinds of soil, seen so many faces, and <laughs> broken so many hearts. Ever thought of settling down? <laughs> An amusing notion. Should I also get a wife and make a few little brats of my own? Couple tiny copies, uh, little tiny copies like crotch goblins of you running around sounds fine to me. Not me. I'm an adventurer at heart, and an adventurer never rests. Sure, life is full of pain and misery, but it's also full of beauty and wonder. You should endure the former and live 
for the latter. There's so much to experience still. To people like us, settling down is like death. Something you don't long for, nor expect. Another jug, Domini. That will be all, Sawa. Uh, actually, I wanted to talk to you, Domina. May we perhaps retreat to a private chamber? Hmm. Seems like your handsome visage keeps attracting the womans. Feel like uh, Claudia's drunk as well. <laughs> I know. It's a blessing and a curse. Out with it, woman. What do you want? I... I think I am with child. Hmm. And? I don't know how to say this. Speak freely. You are the father of my child. Future child. Don't you remember me, Aquilinos? What? Hmm. Is this a scam? It does, doesn't it? But what if she's telling the truth? I've never seen this woman in my life. You told me you would not remember me. Afterwards. And I respected that in a way, but now I need your help. Marcellus Wipsanius doesn't like his girls giving birth. He's a cruel man. I remember how kind you were to me. My child deserves better. Our child. Even if you don't want to have anything to do with me, I want our child safe and away from this shithole. Will you save me? Well, can we buy you? Indeed. Can you be our breeding slave? Perhaps we should inform the Kensos. Quit bothering the guests, look here. These jugs will not deliver themselves. Help me, please. Quickly, Sarah. The night has taken... An unusual turn. I apologize. What do, what do you want to do? I don't know what to make of any of this. I well, have let me to think. Well, if you need help, I'm your girl. Thank you, my friend. That means a lot. You go. I suddenly have much to think about. I got some XP. Yeah, where's the merchant? I don't think I can talk to him. Okay, well, maybe we can buy her, and then we can just use her for breeding purposes. His to make little little more quesos. He admitted it in front of the Senate. That's outrageous. And he was a senator, too. What kind um, of kills a member of his own family? Alright, so now we gotta go here. Nelly, I think it was brave. These patricians always put their family ahead of the people they're supposed to serve. They're corrupt, the lot of them. I guess it is refreshing to see a man who would give up. Hmm. Here. So it's, this is uh, where the lady, this is a lady mission. It's girls night mission. The first mission's with the homies, and the second... I see him, by fire, talking to his friend. <sighs> Am I controlling Let's Kalita? Let's find a way to let him down easy. Okay. Talk to Bestia. You came, and you have brought Daenerys. Kalidar is showing me around. The city is big. Bigger than I thought. We have seen many dresses. Some of them actually pink. Yeah, I like her ears and her like the way her eyes are shaped. Um Yeah, coming here is a great idea. Didn't I tell you so? You said you didn't like the city. Out here, you can run and jump and be free. What is this place? Why are you here always, Tabat? I guess everyone has a second home. Oh, no, the Field of Mars. It's like a holy place for warriors. A place for your war god? 
Why do you have so many gods? People are difficult enough. Gods are worse. You speak truth. Perhaps our souls are lonely, and that's why we need many gods. There! Stop right there! You're coming with us! Please, do not make this more difficult than it needs to be. Do you know these Landakai? Yeah, meet my brother. He's here to get me arrested. Arrested? For what? She killed a man. I kill men all the time. When they deserve it. Rome does not look kindly on women who kill men. Regardless of how much the man deserved it. Deserved? I didn't realize marriage was a capital offense. Yeah, he wasn't letting me shoot my bow and arrows. He was your husband. He's allowed to do whatever the fuck he wants, and you're still not allowed to kill him. Yulia, please. I do not want to see you hurt. Surrender peacefully. That sounds like a threat, little man. Threatening the wrong person can get you killed. What? Are you her gladiator lover or something? What do you mean? Usually what I say. Yeah, move along or you'll get hurt. Do you think you're in a position to threaten me? What did I say, little man? Don't hurt him too badly, guys. Don't worry, we won't. We will just teach him a lesson he will not soon forget. Hmm, we'll play... Or no, we gotta move. Let's beat the crap out of her, bro. Okay. And we'll uh, move him, her here. The nutcracker. Double damage to male targets. Uh, I wish that was the ability my character had. Well, he's no longer gonna have kids. Um, and let's tackle this guy like a freaking mad woman. And you, you can throw rocks at people. Rolling. We'll do a defensive jab here since he's right next to us. Um, need you to help her. Do the we'll do the hail ma hail maker or no we'll do defensive or I don't know which one of these is stronger. Let's first do cheap shot. I think they do the same damage. Um, we'll try this one. How like the dog you are. She will step on this dude's nuts. There we go. He will no longer have kids as well. I'll move her over here to help with this. No! Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of him somehow. Um. You. Do a defensive jab and put him back on the ground. Go! Get the last one! Bastia. Surprise him, get behind him. Do another cheap shot. This is all too easy. Okay. Move her over here. Nutcracker. There we go. Curse this mess. 
Aulus, you fool! Oh. He will be fine. More guards may be coming. It is time to leave now. Okay. Um, so we gotta leave the area now. Okay. Well, that was a fun diversion. Okay. Is everything well, dear? Yep, let's start Act One. They told me Lucullus is your Patronus now. That means our family reputation will be restored. That and more. Lucius, Liliana. It's so good to see you again, Mother. And my sister is back. Isn't that a beautiful sight? It is. Legally speaking, I am the patriarch of your family now. But you are the real head of the household. The well-being of it is your primary concern. The villa is yours. All of your rights are restored. Congratulations. I don't know how we can ever repay you, Lucius. There's no need to repay anything. You of all people should know that, Claudiana. This was not a transaction. It's not about it being a transaction. One good service needs good services need to be repaid regardless. I'll keep that in mind. Is that it? But what Don't if they... worry, Claudiana. No one can harm your family as long as I am alive. Everything will be fine. <sighs> I love Lucullius. Very honorable man. Act 2, Africa. Five years quietly pass you by. We're five years older. Receipt to payment for the products. Here you got 1,000 gold. Dear. Have you slept well? Had a nightmare again. That's horrible. How does your mind invent these things to torment you with? It could be an omen, mother, of things yet to come. Maybe the gods are trying to tell me something in a dream. It is always wise to be careful. There is a thing. He asked to see you, Lorco. He says he has a business proposition. Intriguing. Goodwill, Lorco. Unlikely. If anything, he's more devious than his brother. Yeah, uh, don't worry. I always have a plan. It's called make up shit as I go. Whatever you do, be careful. Okay. Go to the market. Do I have any side quests? No. I mean, didn't Caesar um, in history, like, uh, there's the triumvirate, right? And I know, uh, what was it? Pompey, was, or, no, was it? It wasn't Pompey, was it? I just know that there's the triumphant. And one of them was was like a really rich merchant of some kind. So this could be useful. 
Are we going to trust him? No. We'll find the correct opportunity to get payback. But for now, let's just pretend to be his friend. It's like, yeah, I'll definitely help you. Medical advice. And then stab him in the back when he's not looking. Because he's an asshole. Have you ever been to Lutetia? They say it's the most romantic. Where is he? He's over here. Well, oh, is someone with me? I find that hard to believe. I didn't say beautiful. Oh, it's the old man. I'm glad he's with me. Uh, what does that mean? It means there are a lot of women. Salwe, it is good to see you after all this time. I'm pleased to see you as well. Congratulations on your election to the Senate. Oh, thank you. My reputation as a man who puts Rome above all else made the election campaign easy, fortunately. I'm pleased that you did not let our relatively sordid history get in the way of a business transaction. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really say I sorted history is of my own making of is one of my creations. I'm going to respectfully disagree with you. We carve our own path through life. It is up to us to decide through whom we carve. Tell me, do you like managing your family's vineyard? Uh I will admit it is a bit boring, but at least it's profitable. I do prefer punching things. I am a... I, I do... I have invented a Roman Kung Fu. Perhaps it's your family that keeps you down. Thanks to you, I have no such problems anymore. I have heard tales of your battles. You are a lioness. You're a sister of the D-Rai themselves. You are very different, you and I. That's why I think we could work together instead of undermining each other. Go on. I believe Rome is in grave danger. This is nothing new, of course. We always had enemies within and without. They always disliked what Rome is and what it stands for. But in the past, Rome used to be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I actually kind of agree with you, despite our differences. Unsurprisingly, you do understand me. You can't guess how rare that is. We do need a new Rome, though. Unshackled by the limitations of our ancient system and bureaucracy. It will be a Rome of strong minds willing to make difficult decisions. More importantly, it will teach our enemies to never underestimate us again. I have made my preparations, and I want you by my side. Hmm. Yeah, the Senate is full of deck is decadent and corrupt. Sounds like a good idea. Excellent. I shall send a messenger your way in a few days. I'm sure I can convince you of the validity of my cause. What I'm going to show you will shock you. You'll see why Lucullus is in no position to do anything for Rome. Bold claims, but I will give you the benefit of a doubt of the doubt. I would not hesitate to serve Rome in war, should the opportunity arise. You will not regret listening to my offer. While I until next time. Okay. Ooh, we leveled up. Skills, um Wasn't there in a thing that kinda improves boast? It might have been in another tree. Hmm. Savage is also applied if attacking can pass it to the target. Um every time the character kills an enemy. Uh I thought I saw an ability that, um, uses... 
Oh no, that was one of the fist abilities we had. Okay, well let's grab both now. Alright. And we need to spend one more skill point in order to unlock this stuff. I want to get, um... I want to get Heavy Skirmisher real badly. Hmm. I would imagine that, um, maybe, uh, Chow Chow would be, like, um, psionically, like, warning Today, or putting stuff in, um... Young woman, I will offer you a choice. Your money or your life. Come and take it if you can. That can easily be arranged. I was afraid you'd say that. Oh, kill them both. So wet, hey, people. Shall we even the odds? Your timing is impeccable as usual, Kaiso. You save us again. Always a pleasure, old man. Let us not turn this into a habit, though. Well, they've made a mistake, because... I know Kung Fu. Okay, so it's boasting, guaranteed to be critical. Okay. Uh... And Bloodthirsty helps it out as well. Let's do a defending jab, though. Oh, crap. I didn't see he had, um... The shield. He has weapons. What's distracting blow do? Let's do distracting blow. Finish him off with a uh, Picasso. Does he have Nutcracker as well? No. Okay, we'll just do defensive jab. Then we can intimidate this guy. Stay here, I'll flank them. But I was thinking, like, uh, we have that, we had that I'm not one option in the beginning of Act 2 with the, oh, I had a bad dream. Maybe that's, like, Chow Chow warning, uh, warning, um, Claudia Rinaldi from the future. That way, uh, guarantees the lineage of her god, Greg Reynolds. Okay, wow, there's a lot of people here now. Does he have a shield? No, okay. Let's do defensive jab. It's 10 damage, nice. Let's move on to the next one. Do cheap shot. Sucker punch. 9 to 11 damage, wow. This build is really coming into its own now. <laughs> wow, we almost killed three people in one turn. All right, well. Let's finish him. We can uh, soothe their pain. No permanent damage. Let's do defensive jab. I don't think we're, he's going to be able to kill anyone. He doesn't hit as hard as Claudio Rinaldi. Yeah, Claudio Rinaldi has the, the blood of divinity. 
the blood of the gods coursing through her with uh, her strong hands that just freaking annihilate people. And this should uh, end combat here. Just keeping our pimp hand strongs. Where is Vitellius Lurko, one wonders? In Tartarus, hopefully. But that's not important. A messenger arrived this morning. It is Proconsul Licinius Lucullus. He says I should find you as soon as possible, and you'd know why. And here I thought my brave Centero had shown up just to save my life. <laughs> I wish I could say I had some supernatural ability to sense when you're in danger. Perhaps one day I'll develop such a sense. But I'm to take it you didn't hear from Lucullus then. If I knew Dominus Lucullus, he would have sent a rider for you with all the instructions. All right, then, um... Yeah, find the rest of the gang and bring them to the villa. A reasonable precaution. We may soon need their assistance. You should go ahead. I get the feeling time is of the essence. Okay. How do we get out? Well, let's loot these guys, first of all. Okay. Um... Just want to get back into another campaign and conquer stuff. You know, I fine. saw her eating with her husband at a pepino last week. The poor woman, having to debase herself like that. Okay, let's go to the villa. Things will turn around for them soon. What were you? Yeah, that's my head cannon though, when the uh the Chow's the one sending the dreams to uh Claudia. Domino. Excuse me. It arrived just after noon. The rider insists on giving the message to you. It appears this woman was instructed to meet you here as well. The proconsul just told me to find you. Said you'd know why. Um, I have no idea. Let's find out. I hope Lucullius has a good. Oh, yeah. I'm sure, Lucullius has a good reason. The message, please. You must leave everything and come to Nazamones immediately. We're in grave danger, and I'm afraid in this case, we refers to both our family and Rome itself. It seems we have underestimated Vitellius Loco. Although the little brother wields no political power of significance, he is the de facto leader of his family. An ambitious man who isn't reckless makes an enemy to be reckoned with. His friendly demeanor masks a molten core of vengeful desire. He still remembers how we dismantled their illegal operations in Asia. And I'm afraid he wants our lives in return. I have reason to believe Lurko is planning something big. My speculatories say he's preparing to remove me from my position in Nazamones by force and make it look like a local uprising. If he succeeds, Rome is likely to lose control of the entire territory, giving Lurko the perfect excuse to challenge the current consuls. We cannot allow him to go ahead with this plan. I need your help. Reconstitute Legia Wictrix. I know they are still loyal to you. Then sail for Nazamanes immediately. A battle-ready army will be the last thing Lurko would expect. Do not despair. Know that the sun is brightest following the darkest day. See this as an opportunity. If we can turn the tables on Lurko, we can at last expose him for the crook he is. I await your arrival anxiously. Your Patronus, and your dear friend, Lucius Lucinius Lucullus. I could not find Calida, but I have brought Bestia. I arrived before any of you did. You're looking good, Bestia. You have recovered from our last fight. The injuries were not a problem, but I still owe the Arena Master for all the damages we caused. Who won? It was not settled. They begged us to stop before we leveled the whole place. 
Uh, well, make preparations. We're setting sail in two days. I will inform the men, but... Uh, are you okay? I don't think I'll be able to leave Rome so easily. Is this about a woman again? In a way it is. Do you remember that sower who approached us at Marcellus Whipsanius's? Uh, I, I do. What about her? Well, it turns out she was telling the truth. At least, partly. She has given birth to a baby girl. Oh, congratulations. Thanks, I guess. Apparently she tried to escape from Whipsenius, who incidentally is her Dominus. The problem is, they're blaming me for it. Yeah, let's uh, pay for his lawyer. Hmm. This may take a few days, but I'm sure we can prove these allegations have no merit. Thank you, Nagate. I will now take care of our preparations. We leave as soon as possible. Be careful, child. Do not worry, Domina. I will make sure we return home safe and sound. Alrighty. Salute, travelers. Welcome to the villa of Lucullus of Africa Proconsularis. State your identity and intentions. Yeah, we are Claudia Rinaldia. My apologies for not recognizing you immediately. It's been a long day. The proconsul is currently preoccupied. Please wait in the courtyard while I relay the news of your arrival to him. Yeah, not understandable. We'll wait. Legate, a word? Uh, yeah. I don't think he recognized you. Uh... What do you mean? Was there some kind of... point to him not remembering me? This doesn't smell right. Something's up. Like what? Little things. His armor is a bit too small for his body. He never called you by name. And did you notice how he failed to pronounce the proconsul's full name? It is said he who possesses a deceptive heart sees only deception in other people's hearts. And it is known that women are deceptive by nature. Yeah. I think Claudia agrees. <laughs> it is kind of true, though. Men will typically fight it out, and usually the way women bully each other is pretty ruthless. At least from what I remember. Indeed, that, that was my point. I did not mean any offense, Domina. I think you should stop talking before you dig yourself a deeper grave. Hmm. Well, to err on the side of caution is wise. Finally. Some truth in the old man's world. We should kill them all. Oh, uh, well, that is not exactly what I was going to propose. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Of Killing everyone I... is the most cautious option. Are you sure you know the meaning of that word? So what if he's rude and his behavior is not proper? Obviously, he's not Roman. Honestly, Bestia's kind of right. Um... But we can't attack until we have proof. Once we have the proof that, uh, you know, they're, that basically their ass is grass and we can legally kill them. I am always ready for a fight. Okay. Yeah, because killing all of them is the safe option. Indeed, that is the most cautious option. I apologize for the delay. There have been some security-related problems recently. We had to take precautions. Uh... Yeah, of what kind? Well, let's not give away our hand. Um, no need for apologies. You're only doing your job. Relinquish your weapons here, please. No one's allowed to bear arms inside the villa. Uh... 
course. Yeah, of course. I don't want to say I told you so. I don't need weapons. It's all you guys that need weapons. I'm gonna be fine. You guys aren't. Unfortunately, only two escorts are allowed beyond this point. Do not worry. I will take care of your friends while you're gone. Okay, let's take, um... Him. And... We'll have, uh, Denaria as well. Got someone who can heal. No. Yeah. How much health does he have? I think we could probably kill him in one hit, maybe. Um, we'll start off with, uh, her. Oh, wait. Okay, they're out there. Okay. And I'm assuming... Yeah, it's locked. Um, so we're trapped in here. They're trapped up there. Well... Do the nut cracking. I really hope I can unlock that nutcracker ability, because that, that ability is going to be extremely overpowered on someone like Claudia. Do a defensive jab. Are there any more enemies? Yeah. Boast. Do boast. Oh, I can't do. Oh, because it costs some. Um... We're gonna do. It's critical because we have yeah, haymaker. Oh. All right. There's more enemies back here, so let's uh, run back and get ready. Uh, still, he can still move. Um, I'm honestly gonna move him back because I want you know we gotta get the strong the strong womans um to do the tanking. Then you guys are out here. Is there, where are the enemies here? Let's uh throw some rocks at this guy. And Bestia, do the uh, defensive jab. It's a crit. Um, let's do marathon. Have him run all the way to this guy. Cheap shot. And we'll do Haymaker. How like the dog you are. Picasso can just make it as well. Let's give him the Picasso special of defensive jab. Is there any more enemies? We can't go back. So I think it's just those guys over there. Let's end our turn. Oh, where'd he come from? Stepped into his own uh, caltrops. Uh, all right. Well, let's boast. Do the haymaker. Oh wait, is he a good guy? Oh, well, okay, that almost ended up. Oh. No! Well, that's gay. 
That means we're gonna lose morale. Oh well. Well, let's end this guy's life. Or no, we can't because it's just gonna break his shield. Old man, you're gonna have to take out this guy by yourself. Or actually, must have hurt. is he an archer? No, he's not. Okay, well, he can run away now without provoking an attack of opportunity, so. Okay. So, Picasso, run back over here. As well as, uh, Bestia. Um, you can throw a rock. his guard. Maybe we can knock him down onto the ground as well? Does that work? No. Because we do have to break his guard first before that works. Okay, let's boast. Haymaker. There we go. He's dead. And then we can do a cheap shot. And our... Fists now do generate more focus as well, so we're gonna be able to do combos like it's no one's business. Let's get ready to punch this guy. Let's put him here. I think I screwed up there. Forgot to attack these guys with the other party. Oh wow, he's down. Hopefully we can kill them in time. Mistake. Can this help get someone back up? No? Okay. Open the door. They already went. Wait, she can move over here. Okay. We'll have her do a defensive jab. He's got a light injury, sadly, but we can fix what that. What in the name of Jupiter is going on here? Egyptians, Dominic. They came out of nowhere. Yeah, tell me what happened. Where, where's the coolest? He locked himself into the study. They've killed everyone. The Surwe are imprisoned in the cellar. So who were those people? All I know is that they were in a great hurry. It seemed like they knew you were on your way. I'm not surprised. This was an assassination attempt. And a very sloppy one at that. Alright. Let's find the proconsul. Praise for to me. Take the key. Let's loot everybody. We can open the door now. And have the rest of our 
party follow us. And who leveled up? You've leveled up. Let's give him taunt. You, we can, can get this. That's the attack of opportunity. That seems pretty useful. It's basically the sentinel feat from 5e. I'm gonna give you um, this. Overwatch. You. I need to get you to like me because you're just indifferent, which means I haven't done anything to piss you off. It just means we're, you know, we just met, basically. Um, grab her taunt as well. Okay. Do we have our weapons? We do. Um, wish I knew that. I'm gonna unequip all my weapons. So we have a. So which ones do we have here on weapon two? We have defensive jab, haymaker, and sucker punch. Um, sucker punch, defensive jab. Yeah, so we have eight on our bar two, which we can do. Um, let's equip our trader's mail. And which one of these helmets is the best one we got? Just give him his equipment as well. I think that's better. Um, let's put. Let give him his weapons back. Um, give him the shield, first of all. And then. Um, what is that? The sword. the helmet's at. Corinthian helmet. I need to equip the old man. You. And then, I don't even think I need to give him weapons anymore, really, because we can just have him punch stuff. I need to get him to the point where he can get Pugilist as well, but I think he'll be fine. Let's open his skills. So it's throw sand. Applies blinded. That could be useful. We'll have him keep Haymaker. Let's defensive jab and use aid. Um, put Haymaker here. On the second one, that will have uh, the other abilities that we're missing. Okay, so it's aid, sucker punch, and I need to replace. Uh, Something with that. Um, oh, we'll do defensive jab here. Oh, I don't have sucker punch. 
Oh, Sucker Punch is on there, though. Okay. Let's give you a bow, because you are an archer. Being able to throw something's good. Um, we'll give her this uh, dagger, though. Because we don't need that anymore. And then open her skill menu and give her... Um, throw something. And you... Let's give her this armor for now. And then, um, eventually I'm gonna give it to me. Uh, this assassin's cowl, I'd imagine, will look cool on her. Yeah, that looks dope. And then, um... It's eight, nutcracker, and tackle. Place aid with um, defensive jab. And then this will be her actual weapons. We'll give her the shield and um, we'll have her use the um, spear. There's some charms as well. She looks so cool in that outfit. I can't wait till my character can wear it. Um, start treatment. Okay. Let's loot the... No, we haven't looted these guys over here yet. This guy who's uh, out here. Okay, we get in there through here. Make sure he's okay. Lucullus! By the gods! I'm sorry, Domina. Oh no. Four hundred XP. Who do we talk to? Domina. Yeah, how do I know you're now working for them? But I'm not. The, the keys? Also, we have the keys. I swear, I'm not working for them. I, I don't know why they kept me outside. Yeah, I think uh, Claudia's really upset. And that's unfortunate for the servant. No! I beg you! Legate, a rider arrived. She wants to talk to Proconsul Lucius Licinius Lucullus. She says his life might be in danger. Huh. Tell her she's a bit late. I'll see her at once. Now that is an interesting development. Alright, well, uh... A 
basically like our be careful around these brothers. Claudia is basically replacement dad is dead. She already lost her actual father. Now she's really upset. Signature. Thank you. You are not the proconsul from Rome. I was instructed to speak only to him. It is a matter of life and death. Well, if you can talk to the dead, go on ahead. What does that mean? Explain yourself, Roman. It means you're too late. Yes. He's dead and I am the acting uh, proconsul in his stead. Who am I addressing? I see. That is unfortunate. I am called Lunia the Golden Wolf of the land of Nazamones. Sent by Her Majesty Cleopatra Philippotora Thea Philippotora. Daughter of Ptolemy Eoletes Nios Dionysisos Philopato Philadelphos. The Queen intended to warn the proconsul against the possibility of an assassination. But it seems I was in need of a faster horse. Uh, do you know who wanted him dead? Many. This might come as a surprise to you, but not everyone likes Romans. As to the identity of the murderer, I'm sure the Queen can provide you with clearer answers. Yeah, let us meet then. Of course. That would indeed be the best course of action. Except there's a minor complication you need to resolve first. There's always a catch. Cleopatra doesn't exactly see eye to eye with her brother. The pharaoh, Ptolemy Theos Philopator, has exiled her from Egypt. She has been taken by caravan through the desert, to a distant palace where she will be imprisoned. She offers to reveal the identity of the murderer to you, if you will free her. Okay. Well, I accept her offer. Um, yeah. Just make sure she keeps her end of the bargain. Otherwise, I'm going to kill her. A queen does not lie. That's what they all say. About politicians, they always lie. Egyptian queen. Well, let's save the game real quick. All right, let's go. No idea where I'm going. Just wandering the desert. It's a Polyonia. Okay, that looks like our base. Um, let's collect the items. Okay, we discovered the caravan. Got the gang. This is how they transport their queen? Hmm. Where is Kalida? Salwete di Schipoli. Zeus takes you, child. How do you keep appearing out of thin air? Tricks of the trade, old man. Let's do this then, quick and silent. Serwi? They sent Serwi with her to her prison. Egyptian rulers are worshipped as deities. She is being taken to a prison for a goddess. Hmm. 
Well, let's all go save a goddess then. Praise be. Why are you not wearing your armor? Forgot to give you that. And have you going naked. Okay. Let's go. Halt! Who goes there? Try and bribe him. I am worthy. How many denarii have you brought? Some worthy for a. Uh... Actually, I kind of want to do this one. Yeah, I think this is more a Claudia's style. But she just said that loyalty bought with denarii is worthless, so yeah, come closer. I'll show you. That's more of the the Reynolds style right there. Okay. You can move the fastest. Um we'll do Defensive jab. And then we could finish him off. Us. We're not gonna get a crit with um with us because you don't have the focus in order to um do a uh, what do you call it um. to do a boast or whatever it's called. Um, let's shoot him with a... No, I can't do that. What if I move here? Now we can shoot him. On fire. I'm gonna have her move over here. She'll be able to get an attack with, um... With, uh, what do you call it? Her, um... An attack of opportunity next turn. In fact, we'll move. Well, he can't make it. Right, is there anybody behind? I don't see any. Let's begin to move up. Oh, okay, that's the other enemy. Okay, we'll move, uh. He will actually break his guard with me. Or actually, no. It'd be, it's going to be better to do it with um, him. But we can get him to the other one. Um, let's uh, do another defensive jab. And I will boast. And then Haymaker. That will increase all our morale. you marathon your ass up to this guy. Let's get up to him. To lacerate, I guess. I don't know if I can shoot past that. I don't think I can. Or I can, actually. Oh, that's good. It's gonna speed things up. Fuck 
body up as well. Oh crap, I forgot to equip the old man. Oh well, um... Cast some... Soothing pain on you. Please, follow my finger. Yes, you'll be alright. These people are so weak. Okay. Time to finish you off, Archer. I would like... Can I reach him? No, I can't. I'll have Bessie finish him off, then. Plus uniform too. Can I wear that? Ooh, I can. What does it look like on me? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this. All right, let's get Cleopatra out of her box. Oh, there's another battle. Okay. Well, have a uh, fun in the next life. Okay. Let's do the whole marathon thing again. Finish him off and then move him up further. Can he is this have a range? No, it doesn't. Okay. Right. Only move up to here. You can move a little bit further. We'll get you to move right there. Then... Oh, I didn't, I didn't see him. Oh. Do a fire arrow on him. The old man. Could distract him from hitting us, maybe. Okay, let's end our turn. Run, run for your lives! Run! Run to the hills! Oh, my brother will pay for dragging me into this! Okay. Let's try and break this guy's guard. Would like to get rid of uh, his guard real quick. Oh, I can finish him. I don't think boast is good there. We'll do cheap shot though, because we can still get a crit by using that. We we'll use defensive jab. Where did you learn to fight like that? Or do a fire arrow on him. I should be able to. If it doesn't kill him, he'll die later. But it did kill him, so. Uh, are you Picasso? Uh, you. Made it blockade. There we go. We got a little bit more shield. And then, um. You. So, lacerate this guy. Stand down. I demand 
Okay. This boast. We're gonna be able to kill him and give everyone morale. Oh wow, it even lets people get more movement. That's nice. Alright, let's see if we can get another kill. Uh, we are more likely to kill this guy. Just one more. Should not be any trouble. Okay. Let's do thrust. Cheap shot. Defensive jab. Okay. Can I let me loot him? Ooh, that looks like a cool mask. It's heavy armor, though. Let's give it to him. Romans, here. Tell me, did you murder these people in the belief that they were protecting me? Or in the knowledge that they were my captors? Hmm, the latter. <laughs> Delightful. Then I suppose I owe you the benefit of my favor. Yes. You do. You're gonna tell me who murdered uh, Lucullius. Lucullius. But let's first get out of here. Murdered? Lunia failed then. Not exactly. Follow us. Everything will be revealed when we're safe. Got a premium historical waifu here. It's the greatest waifu of Rome is Cleopatra, and that's a fact. Because the Romans were crazy about her. Alright, we've well, got skill points. Do I have a skill point yet? No. What's the second rank of bows do? So Savage is also applies if you attack. If the attack incapac incapacitates someone. Okay. Sounds really good. We're about to become the world's like greatest MMA fighter. Okay. Let's give him um, Adrenaline Junkie. That sounds like fun. Yeah, let's let's give you your uh, stick. Um, yeah, there we go. And no one else has abilities. Get Cleopatra safely out. That uh, has been done. Alright, let's go back to the villa, and then once we... Reconquer once we get the reconquer um, mission or whatever, where we gotta get all the sectors. We'll um, we'll put um, Picasso in the um, in the infirmary so his light injury can be healed up. Let's talk to Cleopatra. Get in there? Oh, how do I get in there? Dominus Lucullus was always kind to me. Cleopatra Philopator, the goddess who loves her father and the rightful pharaoh of Egypt. Lengthy introductions are unnecessary. 
At this point, I trust we are both acquainted with each other. Legate, you have saved me. I will not let such a deed go unrewarded. I bestow upon you this armor called Queen's Warden. Wear it with pride. Oh wow, we can flirt with Cleopatra? Well, we gotta follow the Roman tradition. <laughs> Do not overplay your hand. Shall we get down to business? I made you a promise. And a goddess never breaks her word. Ask her questions, Legate. Um... Do you know the proconsul personally? We had maintained a correspondence for quite some time now. Unfortunately, he never had the pleasure of enjoying my company in person. He was a good man. He did not deserve to die in such a ghastly fashion. Yeah, Polnay, he was a great man indeed. I think uh, Cle um, Claudio is kind of more of a stoic, though. Like, no one no one does, but few of us get what we deserve in life. On the contrary, I think, in the end, we all get what we deserve. Oh, wow. In a way, Cleopatra's also right. Um, Touché. So, are you really a goddess? It doesn't matter what I believe, as long as the people need their goddess. Yeah, can you make miracles happen? Perhaps one day, I'll show you. So how do you know the, the proconsul's life was in danger? You are addressing a goddess. Tomes could be filled with the things that I know, and you don't. Can you bless me with your... Can you bless me with your divine knowledge? Suffice to say, I have eyes and ears all throughout Egypt. Things may happen without my approval, but never without my knowledge. Alright. So who are the... What are the identities of the murderers? Time to get to the point. No more foreplay. If you please. My husband, Ptolemy Theos Philopater, is collaborating with a Roman bureaucrat called Lurko. I believe you are familiar with him. Yeah, collaborating how, though? The exact nature of their collaboration is unknown to me. My bet is on something financial in nature. Something big. Whatever this collaboration is about, it must be illegal by Roman law. I believe the proconsul got wind of it and attempted to enlist my help in hopes of acquiring evidence. Tragically, Vitellius Lorco's spies got a hold of the missive he sent. Needless to say, neither Lorco nor my husband was happy about this development. Is that why he was killed? I knew it. That is possible, but unlikely. After all, killing a Roman proconsul is equal to declaring war on Rome. Lurko profited from the current arrangement. There is no reason for him to start a war. He hated the proconsul. Be that as it may, I don't think he is stupid enough to start a war for petty, personal reasons. Lurko is a smart man with a plan. Ptolemy is a stupid man with wealth and power. Let's go get him then. That may prove to be more challenging than you think. I offer a simple proposal instead. I become the sole pharaoh and give my husband to you on a platter with Vitellius Lurko as garnishing. All I need is your support. With your help, we can reconquer Egypt together and bring peace to my people. Hmm, who am I to argue with a premium uh, Roman waifus? Um, it's a deal. The problem is, 
We don't have the manpower to accomplish this feat. We need twice as many soldiers, at least. Maybe more. May I humbly present a possible solution? You may. You could simply recruit soldiers from Nazomenes itself. My people were fond of the Crow Council. And although they are severely fractured into countless independent tribes, they may want to unite under one strong banner. Yeah, it's not an unprecedented idea. We can, we can make them human and make them Roman. Is it though? We can collaborate with barbarians, but can we trust them? We will have to talk to the elders first. Let us meet at the court of heaven as soon as it is convenient for you. Well, they won't be barbarians anymore if they serve under the legion and get citizenship. That usually fixes the barbarian problem. All right, we leveled up. Okay, let's get that second rank of boast. Next level, we can get Heavy Skirmisher. Who else leveled up? Let's get the second rank of Revive. And I think that's all I'm going to get in that tree. I don't really... I honestly don't care about it. I don't know what Curse does. I mean... I'll need to look that up at some point. But I just wanted this tree for the healing. Um, Let's look at these real quick. Inspire. I mean, this can... I mean, it's pretty much our support. I think this flag bearer fits him more. Like, obviously, we got the medic arc for him, but I do. Th I kind of view him as him being able to, like, you know, inspire people. You know, and he's an orator as well. Like, he's a philosopher. All right. I think I'm going to start putting him into these things. Grab, um... Get clear path, I think. Steady hands. Oh, wow, she's pleased with us now. Well, I know how to... Wow, like, all my whole party just fucking loves me. Um. Let's grab her adrenaline junkie as well. Let's travel to the. Can I talk to Cleopatra some more? Get it out. I can see you have questions. Uh, nothing. I was wondering if I could uh, simp for her some more. I only simp for Cleopatra. If you simp for anyone else here, you're just a loser. Um, am I He's treating him? So how much longer is that going to take? It's 18 hours. Okay, well. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's wait 18 hours. Alright, he's 
it's been healed. Did I go all the way over there? It's pretty far away. Leave two hundred dollars as an offering. Okay, looks like we're here. Court of Heaven. Take it, there's gonna be a combat mission here. Welcome to the Court of Heaven, the most important annual meeting of the Elders and the reason for our presence. It is an honor to have you among us. The honor is mine. Of course. What do you want to know? Is there anyone I should be wary of? Isil and Mador are the most respected Elders among us. Convincing them both would be a significant diplomatic victory. Udad may get in our way, but you never know with him. And then there's young Womaxan, who's always hot-blooded. We'll find a way to convince them. I believe we shall. I'm just such a likable guy. end up talking to this person and I think we'll save and then we'll do this we'll finish this mission um tomorrow maybe tomorrow's Wednesday right and then Thursday we'll start Thursday and Friday we'll do uh, Mass Effect 3 again they say it was the Romans they attacked her caravan and killed the Pharaoh's gods she will want vengeance on her brother the tribes and make them all civilized under Rome the Roman finally joins us in the flesh your reputation precedes you the honor it's an honor to be here esteemed elders now that we are all here our talks can begin in earnest I have told you all at the upcoming war of the possibility of Nazamenes being trapped between Roman legions and Egypt. And I have explained the potential advantages of an alliance with the Romans. Now is your time to ask your questions about our proposal. I'm sure many such questions burn your tongues. Why is nobody talking? Have you lost your voices? Are you all afraid of the great Roman? Cowards! That's what you are. You are a disgrace to Nazamones. It is only you who disgraces us in front of this foreigner, Wormaxan. Is it up to you to talk when your elders are silent? You confuse courage with insolence. Nobody is afraid of the Roman, but it is unwise to insult your elders. Nobody is afraid of the Romans. <laughs> I am. They've conquered Nasamones once. They rule Egypt and possibly myriad lands, the names of which I can't even begin to pronounce. One would be a fool not to fear the Romans. Ah, I like this guy. Run to your Roman masters with your tail between your legs, then, Medu. I shall stand and fight, and if need be, die defending my people. Wallachsan, Medur, know yourselves. The ancestors are watching. Do not disrespect the court. How many troops do you need, Roman? 
5,000 able body men at least. <laughs> 5,000 slaves, in other words. No, they'll become Roman afterwards. They'll be Roman citizens for their service. And lose their connection to the ancestors. Of course. She is afraid. Am I wrong, Roman? There is no way you can advance towards Egypt without our help. You can wait for your masters to send you reinforcements. But by then, it will be already too late. And what if we refuse helping you? It is not conquest you are seeking. You are trying to survive. Are you not? I'm not af I'm not afraid of dying. I'm only afraid of not properly living. Each each one of us has their own nemesis. He who doesn't fear is a fool. Indeed. Since you are not my nemesis, I should not fear you, right? Should not. Your misfortune doesn't benefit anyone. My intentions are pure. You can trust me. As you said, he who has no fear is a fool. And honestly, it is insulting of you to think of me foolish. Does this mean you're against helping the Roman Medor? I see no benefit in helping her. What do you say, Lunya? Do you have faith in her? I believe it is in our best interest to cooperate with her. The presence of this foreigner alone is an insult to the ancestors. I should slit your throat where you stand. I'd like to see you Control fucking try. Yourself. He may have a temper, but he is right. You know that too. The court of heaven is for us only. I can already feel the disapproval of the ancestors. Can you now? Very well. Let us consult the ancestors then. Have you lost your mind, Izil? Are we not disgraced enough? Will you allow this foreigner to desecrate the resting place of our ancestors with her presence? That is highly unusual. I don't think the ancestors would approve. That's something the ancestors can tell us themselves, is it not? Fine. But let it be known that I'm not happy. As usual. It is settled then. We consult the ancestors. Okay, travel to the holy burial site. Well, let's do that then. All we want to do is uh, make them Roman citizens. I mean, that is that is a pure intention, as far as I know. I mean, you, you want to live in these huts all your life? Do you want to be cool and be a Romer boo? Okay. Let's go to the gravesite. I've seen a place like this once. Similar, but different. What a strange feeling to see such a thing again. The one thing I don't... Under, like, I don't think Cleopatra looks historically accurate in this game. Because, like, wasn't she, like... I forget where her father came from. It's like... I know, but I know it was, like, right... Literally, like, Greece's next-door neighbor. Why are the elders allowed So like I'm pretty sure Cleopatra was white, but uh yeah. Or she would have looked more like a Greek woman. Like who's the actress who plays the 
and Bruce Almighty, it's Bruce's wife. I mean, I know because she's Greek. I would imagine Cleopatra would probably look like her. Forget her name, though. Are you ready? Certainly. It is bad luck for the living to enter a grave. Then let me have your luck, then, Tabit. <laughs> I will give you what I can spare. Make sure to return it when you are done. Okay, it's a cutscene. Uh oh. What's going on? I thought this was gonna be a dialogue mission. On your feet, Romans! They are trying to kill us! Uh, they dare dishonor the ancestors. Well. They're screwing with their ancestors and Rome now. Defeat Omakonsen, Lonja. I'll survive, eliminate all enemies. And we'll just have her kind of always be back, I guess, because she needs to survive. It worked! They are caught with their pants around their ankles! Don't let overconfidence weaken you, Warmaxan. Kill them all. I will meet you at Algila. Fools! Sakura, we must leave at once. This will surely mean war. Just get our child out of here! We're killing each other! Stay away from me, please! Run! Find a place to hide! You pretty much have to kill everyone, I would imagine. Because it says eliminate all enemies as part of the objective, but... Surely, Hamas Kansen counts as an enemy? You could just say eliminate all enemies. You do have quite a bit of health. Okay, it's time to go on the bunga mode. I'll do a defensive jab here. It's really all we can do. Give us resistance. Don't want to waste his marathon quite yet. Here, do broad swing. And you here. Shoot this guy. We can't quite shoot him. You will go in front of me. You will just move you over here for now. And our turn. I have nothing to do with this. Oh, what's that? Is that poison or is it? Yeah, it might be poison.
kind of don't want him to die. Um, we need to make sure everyone that's nearby him is dead so he doesn't provoke an attack of opportunity. Um, let's kill this guy. What? How'd that... Alright. Kill him. Tactical advantage. Move over here. And then do a defensive jab on him. Really, all we can do there. Um, need to get him out of there. This is an archer. He can't really attack us with his bow. Um, let's do distracting blow here then. And I'll run away. Oh, never mind. That doesn't work. Carrot. Is that you? Who is Carl? Old friend? In a way. Vinegar bandage. Oh, okay, we can... We're gonna have to use her to heal him. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't want my fucking healer to die. I didn't... I, I didn't think the... Our, I was under the impression archers couldn't do attacks of opportunity with their frickin' bow, but okay. Um, do a defensive jab on him. There we go. Um, shoot him with a barb shot. Gonna get her poisoned, but um, we can get rid of that. I wanna try and kill this guy. There we go. Okay, and the next turn we can get him up. guys are tough. Might have to roll back a save and try this tomorrow. Stop this bleeding. I, I can tell you how. Can't see the old man. I'm trying to get him up. Oh, he's... Uh, can I... Target must be standing. Oh, yeah, we will have to reload this then. Because I can't get him up and he's going to die in four turns. Um, When was this save? Takes me to the graveyard, right? I'll just make sure we're here, but we won't enter it yet. And then we'll uh, continue that. T uh, we'll do try and finish this mission tomorrow. All right, create new save, and then we'll name it session six.
for tomorrow. All right, well, thank you um, so much if you stuck around for the whole thing. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's so far been pretty good. Very excited to see what uh, all other crazy stuff we can get up to. So, uh, anyways, I will see you later.